Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Shy Cat's Litter Box. Today I got a very special guest today. This is my oldest brother, a very talented artist, uh, very creative, um, also, also known as No Tie, aka 88 Spontane. So give up. Come on, let the people know where they can find you at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, hey, I appreciate you um having me on your um having me on your channel, man, and um sitting down and having a little moment to chit chat with me. Uh yeah, no time in the house, man. 88 spontane is what I go by. Um man, um if y'all type in 80, just type in 88 or at 88, you can find my uh Twitter or um just 88 spontane uh 88 underscore spontane you can find me on um instagram <clears throat> um and you can just simply type in no tie or no tie music company um that's how you get me on my youtube channel that's how you get me on my uh, on my soundcloud or um simply just type uh google no tie or no tie music and that should also bring up you know every stream and platform site that my music is uh, Currently, yeah. so I'm gonna make sure I have all of your uh, links and stuff in the description for the video and everything. Uh, okay. just, that's just to get all of that business out the way, so we can get to the nitty gritty. Right. Um, <laughs> also, for my listeners, um, as a warning, uh, any background noise you hear, yeah, I'm from Chicago. It's always <laughs> don't be surprised if you hear sirens, whatever. That's just background street noise. Um, but, you know, kind of related to that, um, I know you are from Chicago, of course, from the listeners that aren't familiar um, and kind of related. Um, I wanted to kind of start off with digging um, a bit deeper into your inspirations for the art that you do, um, for the music, not just being known as a rapper. Um, but also just the whole cultural background as far as, you know, what influences um, you could remember with being from Chicago and doing a lot of traveling across the country in your own right. Um, you know, and growing up in a very unique music scene. Um, if a lot of people that do know me and a lot of people that don't know me, uh, me and my siblings kind of grew apart. I mean, grew uh, grew up from two different generations so they a lot of what i know came from them um and you know they got to hear and be around during the time where a lot of these idols that we see now um that you know some of our favorite rappers are influenced with they grew up listening to them and seeing them on tv and you know being in, uh introduced to the culture and helping enrich the culture by being you know uh supportive of all of those artists um, so kind of tell us and tell the listeners, you know, where were your first uh, footsteps and that hip hop culture and being influenced by it that, you know, kind of helped you peak an interest into it? Well, man, um, it's funny you ask that. Actually, my my first uh, glimpse or, um, you know, what what kind of gave me what what kind of created that sparking interest in me as far as even um you know listening to you know being being introduced to the you know different types of music uh within the culture actually came from my mother <laughs> um my mom is man i believe even at you know even still to this day i believe she still listens to um rap and hip hop you know real rap and real hip hop um, but man, I could always for so long remember um hearing her listen to artists like uh the ghetto boys, you know, or just Scarface um in general. Um, you know, shout out to them guys, uh shout out Willie D, um Crucial Conflict, um, uh, shout out to them guys, you know, Chicago, Chicago, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, um Tupac um and you know anybody that knows me know I'm a diehard Tupac fan mm -hmm. like I just you know I already knew he was something special um 
when I when, when the moment she played any of his music, you know, out of the out outside of the collective of music that she did listen to, that that is probably um, what I was most attracted to um, mm-hmm. with, with music. Um, and then also, you know, I, I believe, you know, there were there were, you know, many others. Um, you know, I don't want to say necessarily all just from Chicago. I mean, definitely Twister. Um, he he was definitely another one. Um, do or die, just to kind of get them out of the way. Um, but outside of them guys, um, E Forty, um, Nas, um, Nas is real. Like I, I like that dude. Like he's you know what I'm saying he cold. Um, who else you got out there, man? Just oh my god, man! So many. Uh, Trick Daddy. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, Trick Daddy is cold. <laughs> um the uh the field mob yeah um shit uh wu-tang you know they they the entire group you know um their their whole their whole clique over there be doing their thing man um three six mafia yeah uh, shout out to them too i like they you know i, I love what they had going on man they had their own sound uh mystical um, I still listen to Mystical to this day, man. Like I think he's a um I think he's a I could be wrong, but this is just my opinion on it. I think he's a very um um how do you what's the word I'm looking for, man? Like he's just I think he's a very overlooked and mm-hmm. underappreciated artist uh when it comes to uh hip hop. He made a hell of a contribution as well. Yeah. Um I like some of the, you know, the younger artists and things like that too. Um, you know, Hurricane Chris, um, dude is dope. Um, <laughs> you know, in my opinion, is I think he's dope. I think he got bars. Mm-hmm. Um, I like, uh, I like Boosie, Lil Boosie. Mm-hmm. Um, Webby, Webby was cold with it. Um, you know, uh, Pimp C was cold with it. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's like another one. Of, you know, I like to listen to his music too. Um, man, like just it's it's a lot of them, but um, it's kind of the you know keep it short. But um, Tupac, that that type, the you know everything he was talking about, uh, I found it easy to gravitate to, mm-hmm. and for a lot of other people you know if they find themselves being Tupac fans or listeners or whatever spectators um might have been a way found it easy to uh, gravitate to his music as well because uh, a lot of what he spoke on in his music was like in my life uh or what I was living through you know or what I felt like I was facing growing up or Mm -hmm. what my struggle was and you know, hell, that perhaps that's why my mother, you know, listened to his music so tough. So that that's where my introduction uh, came. Well, you know, that's who introduced me to that type of music. Um, those were some of my inspirations and things like that. You know, as I stated, man, there's just, you know, I don't want nobody to take offense, like, you know, because they weren't named or something like that. It's just so many wonderful and talented artists out there man it's hard to name them all like yeah you know? <laughs> but no i think everybody um does uh making a contribution to the um uh, culture itself uh that takes a lot of creativity it takes a lot of determination it takes a lot of confidence um it, it just it takes quite a few things man so you know big ups to all of those people all of those artists yeah that is very true Mm-hmm. So when you began to um, indulge more from the creative perspective, um, how did you, and I know you got a lot of growth from that point to now, um, mm-hmm. at that time, how do you recall that process even happening? Because um, I know for some people, it's, some people get thrown into it and they didn't realize they had the talent. Some people, you know, had aspirations and they you know honed in on it what was your process like um i mean as you know music was always a part of my family anyway you know um i my you know my grandfather rest in peace to him um 
was a, a major, um, you know, was a, a very major figure of an artist. Um, uh, you know, various uncles that were, you know, that I want to say dabbled in music. You know what I mean? Um, Might have just been like a little hobby or something for them. Um, and I always, you know, I was one of those kids that always sang and, you know, at, when I was coming up, I always sang and, you know, harmonized and things like that. Um, so I, I think it was, you know, music was always around me or, you know, close to me, close enough to me, but I never, to be honest with you, I don't, I never, that's something I didn't see in myself. And I don't think I saw it in myself because, um, honestly, I don't think anybody else really saw enough in me perhaps and probably pulled on or nurtured those things. Mm -hmm you know, which would have prob probably early on pushed me in that direction of pursuing, right, you, right. you know, a much longer time ago or something like that. Um, and then after a while, um, I started getting into other things, man. Um, I, I like writing poetry. Um, and, you know, hell, little, do I, little did I know it, music is, is, is just, you know what I mean? It's poetry, it's poetic. And you got so many poets that, um, you know, uh, vent off in their own poetic fashion, you know, so everybody's different fashion of music, you know, nobody can deny that, that, you know, that their artwork or their creativity is not just poetry, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, don't have to be poetry that we like, or, you know, or simply even understand, you know, mm -hmm. somebody and you know, somebody will like it or somebody will gravitate to it. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I used to write a lot of poetry when I was in high school. And um, at some point, like, honestly, literally just overnight, man, I got up. <laughs> I got up one day and just decided, like, you know, man, let me just, you know, let me get this a try. And, you know, man, you can go on, you know, YouTube or wherever, you know, there's beats, you know, hell, I mean, we got natural rhythm anyway. You know right. I mean? That's what I was about to say. <laughs> You know, you don't need a beat or something like that. You know, you got the rhythm within you. All you need to come with is the words. You know what yeah. I mean? Create your own flow and your own vibe off that. But I mean, if that's your cup of tea, yet yeah, they got beats all over YouTube, and Beat Stars, and all these other platforms where you can um, find access to beats, or you can have producers. You know, you meet people on social media; they'll send you beats and things like that. Want you to try to try out their creations and their productions. Um, and you just, hell, man, you sit down and um, me, I like to sit and I like to brainstorm. I don't know how other people do, you know, what they do. You know, some go off the top or whatever it is they do. Everybody got their own way of, of formulating, you know, their creation. But I like to sit down, man, and really brainstorm and dig deep. And that's how, you know, that's kind of how I come, how what my approach is to when I'm trying to create something um, mm. musically. You know, I still write poetry. You know, I, it's not something that I've ever stopped. Um, I still write music. I, I'm writing just about almost every day or every few days. Um, whether I release or drop something or not doesn't mm -hmm. mean that I'm creating something. I'm always creating. You know, like as, I feel like as Eminem pointed out, man, you know, <laughs> at some point, yeah, you, you know, it probably would be wise to lose yourself in the music. You know, what I mean, once you grab hold to it and you you own it, right? You know, you might not want to let it go because you know, what I mean, you it, you might miss out. You know, <laughs> yeah, that is. So I continue you to create. You know, whether like I say, whether I'm releasing music or not, you know, it, it's soothing. Um, it's relaxing. I find it therapeutic. Like, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of artists that have written things or maybe even want to record things. Uh, just because it was, you know, for the therapy of behind, you know, something that they might have been going through. And it might not even been a song that, you know, was for the public. You know what I mean? It might be something that listen to at home. You know, I, I listen to myself. I know I listen to my own music. Um, and that's motivation for me as well. That's, you know, hell, amongst the ones I named, you know, hell, I'm, I'm my inspiration as well. So, yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome, though, because when you look at how you actually 
indulge and start to create, you know, I can see that you live and breathe what you actually, you know, produce with everything, with every project that you've done thus far too. So it's good to, you know, you see that with, you know, some of your favorite artists, but it's really cool to see it with people that you're familiar with, people that you know personally and stuff. I think authenticity and originality Mm -hmm. is something that's, um, it's very, you know, it's, I believe that is and should always be looked at as one of the main ingredients when it comes to the musical culture, period. And uh, I, I, in my opinion, I just feel like that's one ingredient these days that's just, you know, kind of being, you know, put left off the list or yeah. you know, off to the side, you know, not knocking nobody or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. but it is, you know. It's definitely not- a skill, though. You, mm-hmm. you know, it's definitely something. It is a very key ingredient, a very important key ingredient. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So with, uh, you know, you going through that process, you know, having those uh, early taps into art. Um, when you came across actually, you know, rapping, writing, you know, lyrics, sitting down, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Working on your cadence and rapping. How was your first experience with uh, indulging in that? Man, um, it, was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was horrible, man. I'm not even gonna lie. It was horrible. I was like, <laughs> I was like, man, what the hell am I doing? Like, oh man, <laughs> it, it wasn't that bad. It was. Um, was it like ice breaking though for you? Was it? <laughs> I say something like that. It's like, um, you know, um, it, it was a hell of a, a, a shocker to myself. Um, it was definitely an ice breaking kind of moment. Um, and like almost anything, man, we might approach something a little feeling a little bit intimidated by it, but only because we don't understand the process. We don't understand what all goes into it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what to expect. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, my f- <laughs> my first situation uh, or rather my first encounter with trying to, you know, write, you know, anything like I, I think I just went specifically to making like what I like to call teasers. I was just making like little teasers. Where I was just, you know, I was on there rhyming or whatever, just spitting a, a few little lines and whatnot. But I wasn't writing music. I wasn't writing songs. You know what right. I mean? Because so it, it and this is stuff that you find out later on, you know what I mean? Or as you go, you start to figure mm-hmm. out you know, I'm missing a few pieces, or you know what I mean? I didn't skip some steps. Uh, you know what I mean? Let me I need to go back to the drawing board, but before I draw anything, let me actually do some research. You know right. What I mean? And you know, I approach this a little bit better and, and I can approach it a a lot more confident. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I can't speak for many other people, but speaking for myself and, and a few people that I have spoken with, sometimes confidence with a lot of things, but pertaining to music, sometimes confidence is not the easiest thing to come by when you approach music. That's, That's something very tough to come by is finding that confidence um, within yourself, because you can have a whole team of people that feel like they have confidence in you and they want to back you and support you a hundred percent. And all of that, you might not have the confidence yourself to do, you know, carry out what it is that you're trying to do or looking to do. Um, you know what I mean? And, and sometimes, you know, in a way, sometimes other people having confidence in you and, and wanting to support you full throttle, this may sound strange, man, but, um, sometimes I used to find that kind of, I used to find that intimidating and, and kind of overwhelming. You know yeah. I mean? It kind of made me like, whoa, you know, stop a little bit. Be- only because it wasn't something that I was ever used to, you know, right. sometimes. Yep. Uh, not a lot of people in the world, but a very small amount of people in the world 
sometimes we don't know what it is to have that major support system like that when it comes to certain things. So you don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to accept it or deal with it. But mm-hmm. you know, dealing with it just fine, you know what I mean, at this point. Um, you know, either or, you know, it, it doesn't really make a difference, you know, uh, to me whether uh someone tell me that they, you know, I don't really I don't really look to people for like their confidence in me or something like that. You know, I go look in the mirror if I, you know, yeah, yeah. But as you know what I mean, or a confidence booster, I go look in the mirror and I give myself that I validate myself when it comes to, you know, that confidence. Because at the end of the day, nobody can create what you can create. Me and your, you know, me, your me and your brain is, you know, not alike. You know what I mean? We yeah, we both got the same organ, you know what I mean? We both right. got them. Nobody can create what you can create. You know, nobody can take the creativity out of you. You know what I mean? So. That's very true. I was just thinking about that. That's kind of been like the uh, general themes of, you know, different things that I think about on the daily about uh, just looking at your own potential. A lot of people, they tend to fear. Uh, it's, it ain't even about like when you start in something new like this. Mm-hmm. Um, or just anything seems like we be focused on the fear of failures a lot of failure a lot of times but there's also a fear of like that potential um that you know a fear of that success that you well, yeah, look into I, yourself you know when yeah you i think it is a fear of uh, sometimes a slight fear of failure um but again like i say the 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 level of intimidation is only because we're we're not sure what to expect but right. i think people mix that with to me there's a difference between the fear fear of failure and the fear of other people considering your um initiative of failure so right, it's like right right or are more they're more concerned about other people telling them th- basically they're more concerned about other people validating their uh initiatives or their attempts and, and right. like I said beforehand uh, a lot of us and that's a struggle too but a lot of us we got to get past a lot of those things you know what I mean mm-hmm. at the end of the day the the world outside of ourselves is criticism man yeah. it's crit- you know what I'm saying so everybody gonna criticize you Man, people are gonna criticize you for it. Don't matter. Like, if, you, I, <laughs> if you're doing right, if you're doing wrong, if you're doing something that it, you know, dumb people over there like, and not doing enough over what these like, somebody always gonna have something to say about you, regardless. So, you know, nobody's walking this plane of soil just being, you know, they can turn around and, and tell you that they're uh a 100 percent member of the 100 percent right. of or something like that right and it, wait. <laughs> the process is the process is always gonna keep rolling they yep. grow, it ain't gonna you ain't never gonna stunt to a point where that's it you're gonna always next yep. year next year mm-hmm. absolutely yep yeah so now we can get into the you know the meat of everything <laughs> um, <laughs> As far as, you know, the different projects you've done, um, the most recent one from, you know, me being nosy and keeping up with you <laughs> um, is your Fame album. Um, that, I found that one on SoundCloud for all the people that's listening. Go, go look it up. And once again, it's another reminder. Go check out the description. Click those links. Write down link names, uh, social media account names. Go and support, follow, turn them uh, alert notifications on, go and comment, listen to the music, vibe with it, because it's definitely a vibe. Yeah, man, Fame Volume 1, or Forget About Me. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that definitely, I had a lot of fun um, creating that piece, man. It was a nice little mixtape. Um, I think it's 10 tracks on there. Mm-hmm. I would go naming them all, but man, <laughs> y'all embarrass me like that. So, I don't even remember um, a handful of them, man. I mean, but there's some nice songs on there, man. Um, you know, I got a track on there, I believe, called Abandoned. Mm-hmm. Um, 
another track on there, which was a that I, I like that track. I, I had a lot of fun doing that one. Um, I got a uh, female collab on there. I think on what maybe two or three tracks on there. Um, um, uh, Borrowed time, I believe, is one of those collaborative tracks. You um, got uh, for borrowed time and then smile. Uh, was it borrow time? Um, time flies, and um, man, I can't think of the other one. There's another one on there. I'm sure of it. Um, I can't, man, I can't think of it. But yeah, I got smile on there. Smile was a really, really fun project. I really, that's actually my favorite from that album. Uh, 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 uh smile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's you, got, um, you got a music video with it too. Yeah. A lot of fun, which was shot in um, pieces of Chicago, man, um, especially downtown Chicago. So, you know, that I had a lot of fun doing that project. That project um, was very personal to me. Mm-hmm. Um, the message, you know, mm-hmm. the message that I hope that I gave off to everyone else. Um, but more importantly, it was the message that I discovered within myself. Yeah. So that, that one was so close to home for me. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing it. That was a real personal one for me. Um, I enjoyed doing that piece or that project. Um, I got a few other um, tracks on there. I, uh, I got a song on there called Rectify. Yeah, um, I, yeah. A, a really good, a really good track right there. Um, God, man, just so many to name. But yeah, I mean, like I say, ten tracks on that on that tape. Um, I had a lot of fun putting that together. Um, just nuts. I've got to, to be honest with you. I wanted to put more on there, um, but <laughs> I didn't want to give. I didn't want to give too much away too soon. You know, all at yeah, once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta uh, give people a little bit. You know, let them kind of get their feet wet with you or whatever. And you know, if you, I guess, come out to be a little cup of tea or whatnot, then they'll always be anticipating you know waiting for more to come from you but that's true yeah i mean i got you know fame volume one is out um it's got a video for the uh major single smile off there um i think before that i think i got another project out um uh got another video out for a song a single called the get over yeah Um, that's a really good one uh, west side of Chicago. There was a I had a fun time doing that video. So uh, the song was um <laughs> the song was something unique. Um, I had it, and it was like it was supposed to be a fun song. It was supposed to be a fun project. Um, I don't really do a lot of pieces like that, but mm-hmm. I still fun doing it. You know what I mean? Um, I got uh, another single out, uh, non exempt. Yeah. Uh, a couple man um all the way back to uh i think i, I got another single called 100 shots mm-hmm. um go out for that as well um that we actually shot ourselves so i mean it's not the best quality or you know whatnot <laughs> everybody the footwork. it's the footwork though <laughs> you still have fun doing that yeah. one yeah we shot that one. Oh my god man i don't know why we decided to do it um out in the winter man because it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay that um I, i'm glad that i had the um uh, made myself vulnerable for doing a lot of things the way that we did them um because it was a hell of a learning experience too yeah um, and learned some more i've learned so much about myself since um pursuing music and just living life in general um i believe that self-mastery is is something um, that is taken for granted. Um, a lot of people are very short-sighted on uh, self-mastery. And, and I believe it's kind of natural because naturally we're um, we're naturally inclined to want to know more about other people, you know, uh, you know, the world around us. And we neglect that important piece, which is learning yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, no, I, I, I've had a few little projects and things that I put out. Um, I dropped my, my first ever piece was um, 327 Blackface. Um, I had fun doing that project as well. Um, what, you know, all of these uh, pieces are out there on, um, you know, I believe YouTube. 
um believe apple you can find music apple music um, iheart um you know just majority of the uh streaming platforms uh that piff i think youtube music um you might even find some on my various uh social media websites on my facebook and things like that on my facebook is uh no tie world um you can find um probably some of my videos on there my first, <laughs> my first video first single uh was funny with time which yeah. is all the 327 blackface yeah that was first first ever video that i had ever shot been involved in that's the first time i've ever been on um professional camera um mm. like out in public so it was uh <laughs> it was kind of it, it was very similar to my my first encounter with trying to uh write music you know mm. what i mean write anything you know come up with a song or anything no so way. it you know it was a little intimidating um again man because you just you don't know what to expect you don't know what you know um it's like you're trying to keep one eye on the camera and one eye on you know what's going on yeah, that's very true. You know what I mean? But no, we I, we had fun doing that uh, video. Um, Funny with Time, that was shot by Minnesota Cole. Um, okay. Um, that was, uh, um, damn, what was it? I think that was 20, 2020, I think, is when I dropped that. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, it was 2020. 2020 so yeah that's that's when i dropped that piece man it's got what five or i think six tracks on there um it's got uh 327 blackface uh i think the blackface intro um might might be funny with time um the single funny with time is on there um i think i got a track on there holding out which i that, that was like one of my favorite tracks to do actually holding out um I think I got another one on there slowing down. Mm. Um, uh, I think I got a track on there called um, uh, Acid, I think is on there. Yeah, Acid, yep. Vulture, um, I think, which was the last and final uh, track on there is the outro Vulture. Um, you know, I was actually surprised uh, about the kind of the reviews and things like that that I got for the track Vulture. Uh, that actually, in my opinion, that track actually went over a lot of people's heads, mm. um, which is OK, because a lot of music tends to go over people's heads. And I mean, hell, to be I, I can honestly admit I've listened to. Like tracks from artists that I've been listening to for years, years yeah, hearing stuff like, wait a minute, like play it. Let me play that back. And I'm just discovering like, you know hidden messages you know what I mean and things like that so it, that kind of um, relates to what I was just about to ask you though <laughs> uh, so I know like so just for the listeners you know with people as far as like musical artists that I keep in contact with that are you know friends of mine family of mine um a lot of them can say I tend to talk to them um about music in general and you know, when they telling me about what their projects are, mm -hmm. you know, my favorite word I always say is keep a portfolio, portfolio. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> how does it feel? Because I know I don't know if you can recall early on the conversation we had about when I was saying, you know, let's what I was personally trying to do is just start to even think of how I can do a portfolio with what mm -hmm. I'm doing, you know, whether it's doing the podcast and the bass, whatever. Mm -hmm. keep putting out stuff how does it feel um with us both doing that and with you doing that where you at this point now where you can recall your previous projects and you see that growth because that's a lot of work that you've done you know Man. when you look at you have the portfolio now and you just building on it even more now <laughs> is this um man to be honest dude like this is this is like and this is gonna sound funny i didn't even realize and, and maybe there's a few other you know whether they're major artists or underground artists there's 
sometimes when you're doing things from what I've, what I've come to, um, the, the point I've reached with writing music and, you know, doing anything musically, when you create things and you put those things out there, you give those things to the world that no longer belongs to you. It's, mm-hmm. it's what you, get, you gave that away. You presented that to the world. I've presented so much content and probably in such a short time period, because I've only been, you know, um, I've only been pursuing my music career for like maybe the last year and a half, two years. You know what I mean? And I've I've created and released so much content. I didn't even realize how much content I had. And I've got stuff that's not even out yet. Like I've got. Man, I've got an archive of of tracks that haven't surfaced that nobody's heard you know anything of that nature oh. Feel as, <laughs> you're supposed to have something you know what i mean kind of off to the side you know um mm-hmm. you always gotta have some in your stash but yeah man like no i i looking looking back at it now and i'm just building on top of that is like how do you say it man like it's um it just it feels great. It's like a, it's like a self rewarding feel, man. Like you know what I mean. Like I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of me um, because I overcame some things, you know, that I didn't think was possible for you know even me. Um, so yeah, to be able to look back and see that I I you know look at my accomplishments and um, you know I don't no matter how anybody looks at it, you know that's that's legendary. That that's my legacy you know what i mean so that's you know or i should say part that's part of my legacy yeah and you know that's something i'm i'm definitely proud of um it feels good to know that i uh was able to accomplish those things and i can stand back and look at those things so yeah, yeah. absolutely mm-hmm. it's nice to see you know that i got a little bit of uh you know what I mean? Uh, I've been a, I've been able to be a inspiration and a motivation to you, man. I'm I'm I, I'm right. happy to pursuing, you know, different venues and avenues of music like this. Dude, keep doing your thing. I'm proud of you, man. Like, oh yeah, I appreciate it. Up a musical instrument, man. Like hell, you got more confidence than me. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. sense. I to learn to play the piano. And um, to be honest with you, I'm still kind of intimidated. I've, I've dabbled a little bit here and there when I've had time. But, you know, that's like I said, man, again, with, with things, you know, yeah. no, nobody's walking this planet just fearless, man. Like we all we all have some things that we're intimidated um, by or about whether we, you know, care to share or where we can yeah. openly. Have, you know what I mean? But. You know, hopefully I'll if I keep at it, you know, keep dabbling or whatever with the piano, hopefully I'll I'll be able to be as confident as you and do it on screen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now it's definitely a challenge, you know, it's something that I had to overcome. And, you know, I had yeah. the rough patches. Where <laughs> you think you know what you're doing and then you figure out that it's not what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> no, I can imagine, dude. I've, I've been there. I can only imagine what that though. That's like that's on a whole. That's on a higher level. Um, you know that that's that real musician. You Man, know what I mean? it's <laughs> I didn't even realize how real it was. That's how. <laughs> that's why when it come to certain like musical arts. It, I'll say one thing as far as like dabbling in it, um, and you can probably agree. Once you really see what what's all the contribution to, you know, the things that we start doing, whether it's like rapping or picking up the bass, once you see all the different parts that contribute to, you know, making or playing a song, it helps you to really have a certain, you know, respect and uh, admiration even more for the music process and all of the people that are involved and you know it's a learning process definitely a confidence booster when you realize your place in it and how much you've learned too is you know that's why so that's why i be i give big ups to people who are on the you know 
uh, performative side from it because it's not even just them having the confidence of being being able to record themselves performing the music, but they in the science too. They they on both sides of it. You know, they doing the science behind the scene, and then they got to get in the scene and execute. So yep. that's something that's you know being able to actually know people and see them and realize this is the process that they're going through. I think they absolutely insane, but <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but it's fun. You know, it's a great experience and, you know, how everybody, and especially like seeing your growth pro- uh, process up close, um, you know, how it developed over time and how it flourished. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. I really do, man. I'm, I'm, you definitely the man for the job, you know, and likewise, man, I, I, I see you, you like to post your progress that you're making. And, mm-hmm. and that's and because, you know, people get to see literally up close in person, they get to see, they get to watch you flourish and, and watch you go through the steps. And, you know, you're not going through those things, let alone, uh, you're not going through those things alone, but you're right. going through that for, whoever possibly is viewing you that may take an interest in what you're doing or it gives them the confidence to want to pursue, you know, dealing with another instrument, you know what I mean? Be myself, you know what I mean? So it's, you know, I'm definitely proud of you as well, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep pursuing that. You're doing a hell of a job, dude. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So for your, future endeavors and for the listeners um what else should they anticipate as far as what you got coming for because you know from this alone and from projects that's currently streaming you gaining you know more fans um and you know they go you know the hunger for and you know the same hunger that an artist has to put out stuff the same hunger, people that really understand and vibe with you, you know, they wait. So what you got coming next for them? <laughs> or something, even a teaser or, you know, what's something that they could look I, forward to? <laughs> I think I might have a, um, um, a, actually, man, hell, I, I just dropped the track. Um, last day, right? Yeah, last day. It's, I think it's on SoundCloud right now. Yep. Yeah. I can go and check that out. Um, I believe I got a few teasers or whatnot kind of posted up on my social media sites um, for those that, you know, for those that are interested, you know, or they spectate or whatnot. Um, but the, the, the track is out. Um, last day, it's on my SoundCloud. You can um, Google um, No Time Music SoundCloud. It should take you right. The link should pop up. Or you just go to my uh, my Instagram, 88 underscore spontane. And... Uh, click on the uh, bio link that should take you to a different page um my link tree rather and um yep. that should take you to you be able to access to my soundcloud through that as well as my other tracks or any other musical works that i've released um but last day yeah i um man I, i'm trying man i think i dropped that maybe last i think i dropped it at the end of the last month uh, okay. so maybe it's i think maybe a week i'm like it's been a couple of weeks yeah. Um, but yeah, that was another fun track. I had fun doing that. That, that. that track is actually an older track. That was probably, man, um, if I had to be honest, out of that's that was probably one of my my fifth or sixth tracks that I've been holding on to, like literally since I've started pursuing music. Um like you know everybody's got something sometimes it's like kind of their own little hidden jewel that they not ready to share yet that's you know true. what i mean but it was something i listen to i would listen to it around the house and you know when i'm riding in the car just vibing just you know what i'm saying being to myself and whatnot um it was always something that i would listen to and vibe to but you know i that i was finally I guess I was finally, or rather, it was time for me to go and get up, you know, get up off that track and go and get it to the people, you know. So um, hopefully that's something that the people can, um, you know, take and vibe with it as well. You know what I mean? And um, enjoy it and share it. You know, I appreciate that. You know, y'all sharing it. And yeah, um, 
time to um one thing I will say when it comes to me and uh, music, I encourage people to um, be proactively involved with my music as far as communicating with me, uh, giving me feedback. I don't mind the feedback, man. I'll take it, you know, whether it's, I'm not going to say good or bad, but I mean, how they got it labeled out there, good, bad, whatever, thumbs down, thumbs up. I don't take that as, all of that to me is just, it's supportive criticism, mm -hmm. I don't, you know, either way, me positive, you know, feedback or whether you're giving me some type of neg, what you would want to consider negative feedback. It's just supportive criticism as, yep. at the end of the day. You know, it's not it really ain't going to make or break me, you know, because at the end of the day, man, your life is well, my life. I sometimes like to look at my life like it's a sporting event, man. You know, when you show up, you know, and you get ready, getting ready to go in. You got first of all, you got your head in the game. So yep. you're not thinking about your fans that are there and you're not necessarily thinking about the fans that are there to support your rivals. You know what I mean? You got to stay focused on what, you, what your mission or your goal is That's or true. you'll become distracted and they'll throw you off your game. So That's you know fair. what I mean? So I'll, I'll, it's just supportive criticism at the end of the day. You know, it's nice to see, you know, um, you know, positive feedback or good feedback. I mean, but every now and then, you know, it is good to know that I got, you know, a hater peeping in, mm -hmm. you know, watching me, let me know that, right? You ain't you doing know, it right yeah, if you I, ain't got haters. <laughs> you, you ain't doing saying? it so, right if somebody ain't sitting back hating. No, we got some hey, you know. <laughs> 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 that's the way that that should go you know what i mean but and i hey and like i said my encouragement for spectators so i know amongst the spectators there's gonna be some you know haters in there or whatever so hell i encourage y'all to continue to hate continue to give y'all mm -hmm. negative feedback you Make know sure it's much appreciated and share it's it and hate some more keep sharing it <laughs> post it on yeah. your other media and hate <laughs> yeah keep uh -huh. Share that hate, you know what I mean? I need that. <laughs> so share that share the love at the same time. All love with me. It's all love. I'm not taking any of that stuff to heart, man. Um, yeah. But, um, you know, yeah, man. Um, As far as, like, uh, I got other musical words coming out, man. I'm going to be dropping tracks, Um, I want to say, kind of simultaneously on uh, my SoundCloud um, okay. for right now. But I am working on a something about you know the, i would say similar to um my uh fame volume one mixtape i'm working on a bigger project um i'm working on another single right now um i'm trying to get all of the you know cross my t's dot my eyes and make sure that i'm um approaching that situation the right way yeah so that when i present it to you guys that that i can also enjoy giving to y'all and that y'all can enjoy receiving you know when it's ready so i mean just you know anticipate that don't write me off yet. You know what I mean? I know I ain't dropped in a while, but um, like I stated, I'm, I'm going to be dropping tracks um, simultaneously on my uh, SoundCloud. So hopefully that'll keep all of my vibe with vibe while I'm putting something else into the works for y'all and getting it ready. Yep. It you know? will. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. how, as far as uh, what people should look forward to, y'all should already know how I do it now. Make sure y'all go click them links once again. Share, support, listen to the music, uh, comment, like you said, give them that feedback. Um, it's good to have artists that will respond to you, and he's definitely one of them. If you got something real, you know, deep and real uh, beneficial to say, um, don't get on there acting crazy, but even if you do, that's still support. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you know, go and support. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I have all the links in the description below. Um, and I'm gonna also make sure when I do my posts, y'all have easy access um, to that, the SoundCloud, um, different links for different media platforms, Apple Music, Spotify. I'm gonna make sure I have all of that set up. Um, and like I said, make sure y'all support and listen and. You know, be aware of, you know, real music when y'all hear it. 
it's definitely out here. You know, it's definitely out here. I know a lot of the discussion and topics people be saying is uh, how the hip hop game ain't hip hop no more and all this, but it's it all goes back. You know, like I always tell people, it goes back to the beginning days of it, you know, before it started costing money. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> you know, it was enjoyable. Everybody was in on it, you know. Everybody that mattered was in on it. And it was something that brought people together. So, you know, it, and it also reflected a lot of people, too. You know, it was something, it was a joint effort, you know, that New yeah. York in a joint effort man like that's just it so mm-hmm. you know look look forward to um you know what i'm saying more music by me um you can look forward to more collaborations um yep. so y'all might hear some of my projects um you know in collaboration with a few other artists um great artists man underground artists and um you know some of those same great artists y'all might hear some of their works and you know, I might just happen to be collaboratively on one of their works as well. Right. So, you know, or if, shout even out if y'all get inspired, true. <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. Oh, shout out to Pragmatic, man. He's an awesome dude, real good artist, man. Salute to him. Um, MC Brooklyn, man, them, them dudes is, man, they, you know, Prag is really word farming out here these days, man. So, <laughs> you know, don't let is no for real don't let that go like i said man again with music going over people's heads don't let that go over y'all heads man yeah. like you know right now there's this this terminology trending out there of people giving and getting receiving their roses and whatnot man give people their roses man like you know stop hate man give people their proper etiquette man why they here Cause you know, afterward, man, all y'all can do is show up somewhere where they land me to rest or whatever, and talk pretty and you know whatever, man. But yep, yep. you know, really go out the artists, really go out and support the music and support the movement, support the culture. Um, you know, cause the fans making contributions as well. They don't have to be making music, but y'all y'all making contributions as well with that support, man. Like the support sometimes is inspiration the support yep. is motivation for yep. artists to want to keep so keep supporting keep showing that love keep giving that feedback i'll keep giving y'all a response you know what i mean i am one of the artists probably one of the few if anything that will respond back to you um whether it's on you know a streaming platform or whether it's on one of my social media so you know i'm i'm definitely um one of those types of dudes man so yeah well, you already know. Anytime we talk, we gonna, of course, we gonna keep communicate. <laughs> but I appreciate you to come into the litter box. Appreciate you. Oh yeah, for sure. Letting the people know more about you. Um, uh, letting the people, you know, be able to hear how you're thinking and find ways to support you, of course. Um, and this won't be the last time either. So. Uh, and then y'all go and show the brother some love, man, at the litter box. Old shot cat, man. Click on oh, yeah. Go hit his subscribe button, man. Show like, you know what I mean? We need to start supporting our own people and, and supporting their craft and you know what I mean, their aspirations and, and what they got going on as well, man. So he needs support as well, man. So go through, show him some support, show him some love, man. Help him get his views up, help him get his subscribers up. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> they want me to. They want me to pick up. They want me to be the bass playing gangster instead of the bass playing uh, piece. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to walk down the street with an AK in the bass. And- <laughs> nah, it's enough that going on. <laughs> no more of those, man. It's right. enough of them already. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what you say? What you say? We need a different creed or a different. We need a better creed and a better uh, grade of of people and individuals and the intellectuals out here, man. Mm-hmm. We don't need no more. We don't need Papa Toten folk. You know what I mean? We got right, more right. Than <laughs> that is true. But yeah, guys, this is yet another episode of Shy Cat's Litter Box. Thank y'all for tuning in, and once again, thank you, bro, for showing up. Oh, for sure, man. 
Yep. Until next time. Yes. Salute.